native friends. Welcome to Rain Francis Art. My name is Rain. I'm out walking Jack and Charlie today on the Blueberry Field trails that are just down the road from where I live. Every second year they come out and harvest acres and acres of blueberries here for three weeks in August. But otherwise I don't bump into a soul here. You could hear a pin drop. I love walking the dogs at sunrise. I wanted to share that moment with you and I also want to share the following video of me drawing Kiefer Sutherland with ink and graphite. Kiefer is probably best known for his role as Jack Bauer on the show 24, but he's been in a lot of movies too. I really enjoyed drawing Kiefer and I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say and I love to reply to comments too. So without further ado, here's the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Let's draw Kiefer Sutherland. I was so happy to find a photo of Kiefer that I wanted to draw because I really like him as an actor. He's a fellow Canadian, and I love his father as an actor, too. I'm just taking my 0 0.8 fine liner ink pen and outlining my stencil. The stencil is linked below in the description. If you want to download it and follow along, that would be really nice. And if you do, show me your work. <laughs> I want to see what you've done. I want to see if my tutorials are actually helping people learn how to draw or learn something about drawing or painting mediums, colored pencils. If it's inspired you, I would love to know that. I originally wanted to draw Kiefer, mainly he's got a lot of character in his face, but also one of the themes for my weekly themed Thursday art date with Rain, it was in August and it was Mirrors and Reflections and there was a movie called Mirrors. He first starred in it. It was a horror slash thriller, right up my alley. <laughs> and it was about, I think I'm trying to remember if he was a cop, probably a cop, an ex cop who lived in a house that was some kind of gateway for spirits. And they tried to come in to his home and take over via the mirrors. And there were some really scary scenes in that movie. Came out in the late 2000s, I believe. I saw it when it came out. And I think I'm going to watch it again. Give myself a little scare. <laughs> I like thrillers and horrors. I'm not into the torture stuff. That's just ridiculous. I know some people like watching that, but I'm not into that. I especially love psychological thrillers. And I like when religion and, I don't know, horror are combined. You know, exorcism movies and when there are demons and spirits and things like that. Of course, I love the original Exorcist. They made, I don't know how many movies... 
plenty of movies. <laughs> there were the um, the sequels where the young girl Regan was grown up. I don't know how many sequels there were. And then they went and did a few others. Prequels. I watched all of them. They're never as good as the first one, though. There are a few exorcism movies out there that I really like. I like The Exorcism of Emily Rose with, I wanted to say Karen Carpenter, but it's her daughter, um, Jennifer Carpenter, I think. That was a really scary one. And then there was one called The Last Exorcism, and that one was... That's my favorite exorcism movie, I think, of the modern ones. It, uh, it was made as a documentary of a preacher who was not... He kind of lost his faith, and he wanted to do the documentary to disprove exorcisms and show them for the the fraud that they are, so he said. And of course, something happens. <laughs> That's a really good movie. I think I've watched it, I don't know, gosh, this sounds crazy, but I'm sure I've watched it at least 20 times. I really liked it. Okay, so we've outlined Kiefer now. I have a reference photo, and I'm going to go in still with my 0 0.8 and I'm gonna fill in some really dark areas. His eye here is completely in the shadow so I'm filling that in. And his pupil is dark, but not the whole thing, just about. He's got a little lighter spot underneath. Not his pupil, his, uh, yeah, his pupil, I guess. I should learn my biology. So I can say the right thing. <laughs> and he's got, um eyelashes actually that come out. He's got long eyelashes. He's got a few here too. And up here. His hair is quite dark around the hairline. Let me see here. His part is right here, and that's quite dark. So I'm just applying the ink in the direction of how the hair would go in the part. And around his ear as well, it's pretty dark. All in this area here, it's quite dark. I'm not going to fill it in completely. I'm going to use my graphite pencils for that. But it is darker than the rest of his hair, so... Not quite as dark as the hairline. I think that most people would know Kiefer for his role in 24. That wonderful television show that kept us all on our at the edge of our seats. 
I don't know if you were a fan of that, but I was. I didn't watch it when it came out on television. But one summer, when I wasn't feeling well, I was home a lot, and I rented the entire, was it nine seasons? And I watched them all in one week. <laughs> what do you call that? Binge watching? I just couldn't stop watching. It was so good. I'm going to fill in his hair. Jack Bauer. What I liked about that show the most, besides the action and the fact that Kiefer was in it, was you never knew what was going to happen to the characters and you never knew who was on the up and up. There were a lot of twists, which I really liked. I was also, like I said, a big fan of his father, Donald Sutherland. I remember the first time I saw Donald Sutherland in a movie was... Ooh, it had to have been in the late 70s or 80s, I think. I don't even remember what decade. <laughs> I knew I was young, and I saw it on television, and it scared the heck out of me. It was called Blood Relatives, and it was actually filmed in the town where I grew up, in Montreal, Quebec. It was scary. And, you know, I have respect for any actor who has a role on The Simpsons. <laughs> Both Kiefer and Donald had guest spots on The Simpsons. Actually, I think Kiefer was on several times. I love that. People don't take themselves too seriously when they're on The Simpsons, you know. Kiefer was in a lot of movies, a lot of movies, and he was typecast for a while, I think, as like the bad guy. I'm just going to fill this in a little more, because like I said before, it is darker in this area than the rest. There was a fabulous movie that came out in the 80s. I think it was directed by Rob Reiner. Remember Archie Bunker? He played Meathead. <laughs> He's a great director now. Let's see. Okay. Yes, sorry. The, the movie I'm referring to, I can't multitask sometimes. <laughs> the movie that I'm referring to is called Stand By Me. And wasn't that a Stephen King novel? Rob Reiner brought it to life and... Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Kiefer played a nasty boy in it. And River Phoenix was in it. He was, he had so much potential. He, as a lot of these, you know, young actors do, he overdosed and that was it for him. The end of his life. Too bad, though. His, um, his brother Joaquin is pretty good. Joaquin Phoenix. Keeping an eye on my reference photo here. The 
area between his lips is quite dark. His mouth is just slightly open. He's got that very concerned look on his face. because it's a little annoying. He's wearing a sweater. I'm just going to do some texture on his clothes because I want it to stand out separately from his face. I could just put in, you know, I could just shade it in with graphite pencils, but I don't want to. I want it to stand out a bit. Just a little cross hatching here. Have you seen Stand By Me? Such a great movie. I never read the book though. He was also in a lot of vampire movies. <laughs> or maybe it was just the one, but I don't know. All right, so. Kiefer actually owns a record company. I don't know how successful it is. I don't know who he signs to his label. <laughs> I did read that he has a collection of Gibson guitars, and he does play himself. Actually, he, he put out an album in the uh, 2010s. I never heard it. I don't know what style of music it is. I know his record label. I think it's called Iron Works. I seem to remember, maybe I'm wrong, after 24 ended, he started some other television show. Uh, was it along the lines of 24? I don't remember. It wasn't... I'm sure he played a cop or something. <laughs> but I don't think it lasted very long. I'm just shading under his ear here and a little bit at the base of his hair. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of cross hatching on his face, but for that I'm going to take my finest tip 0 0.05 and just do a little cross hatching on the areas that I I put in the stencil that I wanted to stand out a little bit. I don't have a television. I haven't had a television for over 10 years, but I do remember hearing Donald Sutherland's voice. He did a few commercials. He was the voice for Ford. And then Kiefer took over, I think, for Ford as well. And I remember hearing Donald Sutherland has a a very distinctive voice, and I think so does Kiefer, but Donald Sutherland did um, an orange juice one. I think it was called Simply Orange. I just remember hearing, he's got that little lisp going on. and Okay. 
Now his ears, I'm just going to do little circles. This is for texture. I'm going to be filling it in with graphite after. There's a little spot here too. Okay. His lips, the bottom lips have little lines on them. And where else? Maybe on the side of his nose here. Just put in some scratching. No particular pattern. Okay. That's all right. I'm going to... Oh, I didn't take out my graphite pencils. So sorry. I will take those out now. Should have been prepared for that. I'm going to take my... Let me see. I'm going to take my... HB pencil as I normally do and fill in the skin area very lightly working in circles or large ovals turning my pencil once in a while I have a Kiefer Sutherland story to share with you <laughs> Some of you already know this story because I shared it on my blog, I think, I don't know if it was this year or last year, but it was in the last few years I shared it. And I'll put a link to the, the blog post where I shared it because I was in a movie as an extra that Kiefer was in, and it was called Crazy Moon. And you can see me dancing. <laughs> it was 80s, so my hair was very alternative looking, and I was doing the 80s dance. <laughs> it was filmed in Montreal, the town that I mentioned where I grew up, and they were casting extras. It was filmed, I don't, I haven't been in Montreal for ages. I moved away from Quebec permanently and uh, it was filmed at, it was a nightclub slash venue called The Spectrum. It was on St. Catherine West. And they were looking for extras to be in the audience because the scene was, I'm just going to do his neck here. This side of his neck is very dark, but this side here is very light. So they were looking for extras to be in the audience because the scene was Kiefer and his girlfriend were going to a concert. And the band that was playing was a, a real band called Rational Youth. They were Canadian. And we all waited in line hoping we would get picked. And we got picked, my friends and I. And we were told that just start dancing when you hear the music. So we did. And I got a close-up <laughs> in the movie. I was nowhere near Kiefer, but I always tell people, oh yeah, yeah, I, he was right next to me. <laughs> he wasn't. That was a lot of fun, though. Like I said, I'll leave a link below so you can, if you're interested, you can see me dancing with my 80s hair <laughs> and my 80s do. All of my 80s garb. Here's my 2B pencil, and I'm going to go and fill in the darker area of his neck here. I love Kiefer, but I, I wasn't a fan of that movie, Crazy Moon. It was kind of, I think it was his first movie. And it was kind of weird. Not that I don't like weird movies, but it was a little weird for me. I'm going to go in, actually, there we go. 
I'm going to go in down here and shade in a little darker under that eye and the whole eye itself because it's completely in the shadow. And I'm going to put this area of his nose a little darker in all the places where I cross hatched. And around here. Under his eye, he's got a dark area just here and here on the inside of his eye it's very dark above this part of his eye as well very dark and just below the part he's got I guess that would be where a vein would be on the head And I'm going to make a little darker part here to differentiate the ear and the inside of the ear like this. Okay, he's got a little darker area here. The bottom of his t-shirt. Actually, I used the 2B here, so I'm going to use a darker one here. I'm going to take, if I can find my 4B, 4B, and I'm going to make his t-shirt 4B color. go in and use the 4B as well, just around the hairline. And that part has to be dark. I'm looking at my reference photo. This area of his hair is dark, as well as this area here. Last but not least, let me grab my very dark 6B and I'm going to fill in the rest of his jacket and also the area where I cross hatched. And actually, under here too. That's a little darker, it's in the shadow. This area is quite dark. I'm thinking I should probably add a little 6B to it. Another movie I completely forgot about that I really like Kiefer in is um, he was in The Three Musketeers. I don't know when that uh, was it made in the 80s or the 90s. Oliver Platt was in it. He was great.
Tim Curry was in it. He played the Cardinal. I love Tim Curry. Oh, I have to, I have to draw him one of these days. He has got a mouth on him. He's so funny. Okay. Last thing I'm going to do is take my HB again and just go over this area of his hair because it's not that light. This area is, but not the back of his head. And I'll grab my 0 0.8 and just add a little more hair here. Okay, now I can start blending and as you know, if you have watched my videos, my favorite blender for graphite is this soft brand foam tip blender. Look at how amazing that is. I love it. I'm going over the entire area. I'm going to try not to get his the area of his eye though because I want to keep Part of that white, but I can always go in and erase after if necessary. I'll just do his whole hair area. Three Musketeers was a great film. It was funny, but it was also kind of sad. Rebecca de Mornay was in it. She was great in that, too. The only one that annoyed the heck out of me was Chris O'Donnell. <laughs> I couldn't stand him in it. I'm not a big fan of him, anyway. Seems to me that he always plays an annoying character. He was in the, one of the Batman movies, and I found him quite annoying in that as well. <laughs> okay, I'm just going in with the blending stump to blend this area a little better. Just so it's not sticking out as a... Um, a dark cylinder on his face. You know? Okay, that's a little better. Okay, the shading is still there, but it's not as obvious. I'm going to go in and do the area under his eye and around this area of his eye. going over the areas that I feel need more blending. This is a very simple one to do, actually. Compared to some of the ink and graphite drawings that I do, Kiefer's, uh, Kiefer's a little easier. snoring. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him. Okay, I want to do a little bit of detail on his mouth. So I'm going to grab my 0 0.05 ink, ink pen and I'm going to put just some lines on his upper lip. His bottom lip is a little lighter, but I'm just adding a little more scratching in there. And under 
his eye. Just a little line here. Okay. So I will take my HB pencil again. There's this little spot under his eye right here that I left white. I'm going to fill that in with the HB because it's not white. For his nose, I would like to do a little bit of detail. I am looking at the picture as I do this. His nose comes out about here, so I'm putting some shade in here. And he's got those little creases under his nose here. He's got a very pronounced chin. It's a little darker here. A little dark here. Top of his ear is darker as well. And just here, where the bottom of the ear meets the face, it's darker. And that upper lip is a little darker. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and blend those. Here I don't mind if the lines show because he does have some wrinkles on his neck. I'm going to use my blending stump a little bit here. going to see if there are any areas that I want to highlight. Just go in and erase if there was any pencil that got into that white spot on his eye. He's got a little bit of a highlight here on his nose. A little bit here, or right next to that sort of vein, I guess. Under his eye a little bit. On the side of his nose. Just above the eyebrow here. Just on the side of his cheek. A little bit under his chin crease. In between those two lines, upper lip, and there's a spot on his ear here that's brighter. Right here, and the lobe itself is brighter. This area of his neck is a bit brighter too. I'll take my larger mechanical eraser and just erase around the face where I may have gone outside the outline as I was blending, for example here, and all around his shoulder area. this does anything. A few little highlights in his hair. Okay. I'm 
Now I'm going to use my soft blender to go over those areas that I erased so it's not as obvious that they are eraser marks. There. Well, that was very easy to do and really nice to do. I just want to be a little perfectionist here. <laughs> okay. And there's Kiefer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know if you followed, followed along. If you like Kiefer, if you have any suggestions that you want me to put together a tutorial for someone, a portrait or a scene or anything you like, let me know in the comments. I love reading them and I love replying to them. So that's all for now, folks. Thanks so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.